very interesting. You spoke about uh, advertising and marketing and moving from various towns. You also seem to have moved freely across advertising <laughs> agencies and market marketing jobs over your professional career, and yeah. uh, you know moved e either this side or the that side of of the table in that sense so what has been what was the motivation behind these moves and do you think uh, and how important have these been in your growth as a professional um i think there is um, there is uh, a lot of merit in uh, rounding off your professional journeys consciously right so um, so so um, again again uh, uh, sudhir as we all know when you work in advertising uh, or or in the um, in the support be it consulting advertising or even say in the periphery say media or or uh, what it enables you is that it opens you up to multiple worlds right so you work on a roster of clients or you engage with uh, uh, thought leaders or uh, or business creators across multiple uh, multiple spectrum right so um, so even even my early journey in advertising uh, was a conscious choice because i uh, did my mba and uh, uh, i was very fascinated by the fact that advertising uh, can allow you to to induct yourself in a in multiple categories right so uh, so so i and i think the first few formative years in advertising kind of uh, uh, got me very excited about this ability to make impact on all the lines of the pnl and not just demand creation i think that exposure early on uh, with organizations such as gillette really opened me up to say that uh, a rounded professional um, uh, is the one or a, or a demand generation or a demand and creator is the one who can uh, so I, i i got very um, uh, very high learning uh, uh, i was very lucky to be on a very high learning curve um, early on in advertising um, and i think that helped me uh, and again i go back to one basic that if you are curious and you ask the questions and you don't deter to uh, to put yourself a, a little bit into um, into out of your comfort zone then then i think growth kind of comes uh, in many in in many directions and maybe later in the conversation as i as i will touch upon uh, how vertical growth and horizontal growth bo both are critical uh, in your professional journeys um, and uh, uh, it is it is very um, uh, initially when you make that switch or when uh, like like it is true for any switch that you make out of your comfort zone it is challenging because there is a lot of prejudice and stereotyping that still exists and um, we are right now for example i've spent my last 15 years in the beverage alcohol world and um, even here uh, sometimes we tend to um, uh, to give more credit to people who understood the complexity uh, that our category you know comes with in india um, uh, however I've, i've hugely benefited in making teams um, uh, which are which which bring different uh kind of diverse thought processes and energies into the conversation right and and it is tough because if you have um if you have a team member who doesn't understand the nuances of of the category or the or the work stream that you are leading um where versus a, a bunch of team members who might or team members or peers who might have been in the same uh, piece for the longest time uh of course the the time etc will be uh, will be faster uh, for for people who are in the same thing but then you might be missing out on um, on a new way or a, or a more agile way uh, to look at the same uh, problem so um so also uh, i totally would say that for any professional who wants to make a choice of 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 expanding into uh, um into a, a different category or say from a advertising to a marketing or a, or even um, now we have people who are human resources leaders who are coming from the business right and one of my most favorite example is the most celebrated move that uh, lena nayar made to chanel right uh, um so um uh, so i think it is possible but i think it takes a better part of your patience and uh, agility uh, as a professional um and if you have the appetite then go for it uh, otherwise there's enough and more to do in uh, in in the same work stream uh, as well but it does take it does take a little bit of a stretch from you as a person does it become more difficult to be curious and asking questions and making these moves if you are a woman professional yes yeah, so um i think the 
uh, the evolution uh, in the past uh, 10 years i would say is is very good and very positive we are uh, seeing uh, uh, much more of that easing out i must say that but i will go back to the time when there was no representation and that is why i'm such a big advocate of re representation of talking i'm uh, even even to talk with you like this today is is very critical for some of us who've who've been there right who've been there at a time when uh, i used to go for a trade visit and uh, um, you know trade partner would say acha aap alcohol mein kaam karte hain oh koi na koi majboori rahi hogi right that's the that's the फर्स्ट रिएक्शन दैट आप दिखते तो यू नो अच्छे घर के और इस तरह से हो देर मस्ट बी समथिंग रॉन्ग दैट इफ यू चोजन कॉन्शियसली चोजन टू वर्क इन एल्कोहल ऑल्सो देर आर देर आर देर आर सेवरल काइंड ऑफ प्रेजुडिस फिगर दैट इफ देर इज अ वुमन who is talking like you know like there's a common prejudice that the women drivers don't know how to uh, parallel park or uh, whatever there's a very common prejudice to say that oh data anything related to data or anything related to um, uh, rolling your sleeves and um, and and actioning um you know it might be it might not come naturally to you you as a woman and i think i have um, only learned it the hard way that uh, first of all thick skin <laughs> so you need to be very thick skinned and you need to be very clear about um that that you are not going to leverage the fact that you're a woman uh, but you are going to just be yourself right and i know it's tough uh, but uh, if there are areas which you don't know um like any other uh, man would do you 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 kind of imbibe it so and so i i many a times i've, I've uh, even when i switched from a marketing to a commercial role um i think i just said that you know for the next few months i'm i'm like the sponge who's just going to learn uh, uh, the the fundamentals uh, because because i've not done this before uh, live you know so i will i will learn it and then i will of course once i've once i've done it then i do know the i do have the right to um, you know kind of uh, give uh, my opinion or 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 take it up from there um um it is it is it still exists in many 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 corners of uh, the workforce um, um i was speaking in some forum uh, sudhir and i i think you would you or pradhan would know this better uh, and i said that in the agricultural Uh, uh sector which is which is predominantly uh, where india still makes uh, it uh, finds its employment 41% of the uh, agrarian economy is run by women labor right and similarly even in hardcore uh, sectors like construction uh, the the front line so to say equivalent of uh, Uh, a sales function is is actually women labor right so it's it exists all around us maybe we were not sensitized to it um, um, in 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 that manner so it is tougher in certain sectors uh, uh, and definitely couple of my uh, roles uh, um, have um, have had uh, several experiences where uh, i've either had to lead uh, uh, from the front um uh, uh, to make that change to be that change uh, um and 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 uh, then i ultimately ended up in an organization like the agio which actually champions it for years even when it was not fashionable i i, I think the agio has had the most um, uh, robust emphasis on diversity um, and representation so um even in india right now um, um we have a we have a md and ceo who's uh, who was who was the first woman to lead uh, the largest alco beverage country in in a market like india uh, uh, hina um, and then we've had an exec which is uh, you know 50% of us in the leaders in the ajo are uh, are uh, um, uh, um, uh, women and also globally in many many pieces so i think um, my uh last uh, few years in diajo have been uh, actually celebrating diversity and and uh, actually uh, accelerating uh, inclusion of of a, of a different kind um and and um, i am I'm, i'm glad that we've been able to able to do that uh, uh, for a, for a uh, for a category or for a industry which which did not have precedence and which did not have representation yeah great i mean you alluded to this and you mentioned that you know some categories are always seen uh perhaps uh, reserved specially for men in that sense but i must ask you this question that you know alcohol beverage industry has been considered a male bastion uh and seem to have but yet you seem to have grown and thrived in fact uh, clearly in that industry and i would imagine 
breaking many glass ceilings. So, what were some of your challenges initially, at least uh, while finding your way through? And as 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 I mentioned, especially as a woman professional, and uh, how exciting has the journey been? I think if I go back, so net net, Sudhir, I've been in alcohol beverage alcohol now for close to fifteen years, right across. Uh, all the three eyes that are three organizations that have been part of. Um, um, as I said, there's tremendous evolution. And I think that evolution um, is what I spoke about uh, right now. I'll just take you back uh, to the initial times. Uh, and I think it all goes down to representation, right? So, um, so a person will not take a bet on a a uh, woman team member and the woman team member will not join uh, this category because of the lack of representation and and prejudice that existed uh, um, uh, around around these categories and i'm sure um, uh, my peer group in tech my peer group in fintech or uh, as i spoke even in the in the sectors where women have been part and parcel of the thing but we were never conscious about it would agree that um, there was no representation at my time if I have, I mean, in, and you know, you remember we, we used to work together uh, when I had my uh, first uh, born, uh, um, uh, and I remember I went to some of you, um, uh, including we had our agency head uh, uh, who was who was a woman it's herself, and I went to her and I said, "Boy, uh, I'm going to have a child, and my life is going to change. How will I work?" And uh, I remember Vibha told me that Shweta, just go have your baby, and uh, we all are we are all uh, uh, parents and we will all we all are back to work right and it that statement meant tons to me right that the fact that there is representation there is a reference point that i have that uh, this can happen uh, brought me back and you know we we all did some wonderful work together uh, and then and, and we used to joke about it because my son used to roam around and we would we would uh, you know uh, we would all get things done uh, at that point in time i think a lot of these sectors uh, at least the time when i joined uh, beverage alcohol there was no representative i couldn't go and say precedence i mean there were there were remarks about the fact that um, um, you know, everything from what you were wearing to the fact that you chose to be uh, away to to drop your or pick your uh, children from school or if a sick child or the fact that your your partner or your um, uh, husband lived a certain lifestyle. So why do you need a raise? I mean, those were all those were all, uh, uh, you know, uh, are going to go uh, in a in a book sometime if I if I ever uh, end up writing about it. Uh, and that was also because uh, nobody knew better, right? Because these were sectors where nobody had ever seen um, um uh, so right now we in the world today we are talking of diversity of gender diversity of backgrounds diversity of thought that time it was everything bot bottled down to the fact that whether you are a whether you are a, a you know woman uh, and how would you how would you go about it from there i went on to have my second child and i showed up back after you know the the four four months uh, leave to um, actually in diageo where i have uh, led uh, 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 very diverse teams uh, uh, from commercial to marketing to innovation uh, agendas and uh, uh, and i have included I've, I've, as i said i've become very active uh, advocate of talking of inclusion, uh, which goes beyond gender diversity. It also goes towards uh, uh, backgrounds, um, uh, thought process, and 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 of course uh, fluidity, gender fluidity. I've I've, I've, I've um, led campaigns uh, for the industry uh, where better industry representation. So you know we run a program called World Class, um, where we realize that uh, a lot of barriers existed for the bartending community to have more women representation. So we said that how can we partner uh, the nightlife uh, and the and the restaurant and the uh, entertainment industry uh, to have better representation and create conditions so that you know women can um, participate in the booming industry and sector uh, that is there. So last year we had a, 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 a we ran a global bartending competition which is uh, world class and we have the Indian um, in the, the top uh, uh, 10 for the first time and, and that Indian was a girl from Pune from a bar uh, in, in, in Pune so you know tier to the the, 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 the the visual imagery that we get uh, we were uh, we were very glad that we were able to you know enable a, a, a system and a representation which is not just about corporate 
uh, leadership, but also about the adjacencies and the industries that are connected um, uh, to um, uh, to ours uh, in 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 that manner. So yeah, I think it's a journey uh, uh, which uh, requires uh, uh, patience. Uh, it it also requires um, a lot of conversation and over communication uh, with 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 everybody. And I think the more important uh, uh, contributors in enabling this are the are the men themselves. I think uh, uh, there there has to be a fair amount of uh, 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 kind of representation. They also need because it is it is something that is that is connected to uh, to uh, to the world that we are in and more conversations with them also help i think you cannot isolate uh, one gender out of uh, out of this and it has to be totally truly inclusive in that sense